Welcome guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are interested in self-development, working from home and entrepreneurship, you are at the right place. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three of the very accessible speech to text applications available online. And what is amazing is that they are all free. But before I dive right into those, let me explain briefly what these applications can do for you. You don't really have to be a professional transcriptionist or a typist just like myself, but these applications are very useful in many, many areas. Let's say you are a student and you need to create documentation in a faster way. Or let's say you are an entrepreneur and you want to create your marketing materials for your business or even for authors they can take advantage of these applications to create their manuscripts faster. And in the transcription world, it is commonly known as speech recognition technology or SRT in short. Now let's dive right into the applications I have promised you. And the first one is the Google Docs voice typing. And what you have to do is to make sure that you have your Google Docs application, which you can get through your Chrome browser. But in case you don't have it yet, all you need to do is to install the official Google Chrome extension by doing these following steps that I'm going to teach you now. So go to your Chrome browser and then you got to type in Chrome Web Store. And you will find it here, the very first one, you click on that. And of course, because we're looking for Google Docs, we have to search in, in the search tab, D-O-C-S or Docs. By the way, I have already installed mine before, so you won't be able to see it here, but let's just assume it's right here. Okay, this is D-O-C-S or Docs extension, and you got to click on the Add to Chrome, and then Add Extension. So once you have install the Google Docs then you go to this now you will see this icons here the web store Docs Google Drive Google search YouTube and Gmail but of course here you will have to click on the Docs icon which is the second one this one the blue one here and you got to click actually the the blank document there so you can try doing what I'm going to teach you now so what you do is to go to tools and you will find several features spelling and grammar word count compare documents dictionary translate but we are going to be focusing on the voice typing because that's our subject for today but before going to that i'd like to show you another features here other features i should say under the format tab you will find text paragraph styles, line spacing, head, headers and footers, page numbers. I'm just showing you that you can still explore on those features. So let's try our voice typing this time. What you do is to go again to tools and then go to voice typing. And there on your left hand side, you will find a microphone. So make sure that everything is ready and you got to speak clearly at a normal volume and pacing. So let me try doing the voice typing this time. So I'm going to click on this. Hi, period. How are you? Quotation mark. Question mark. I am doing well. And then if you want to pause or stop your voice typing, you just need to click on the microphone to make it stop. Let's now go to my second recommended free speech tool called Speech Notes, and this is the web version. So here are the steps. First one is to go to your Chrome browser and type in speechnotes.co. And your page will look like this. And you'll see very straightforward instructions here. 
it says click the mic to start dictating and where you can find it here on your right side and then there's a side note here that says the dictation feature works only on a Chrome browser that's why I told you in the beginning you have to go to your Chrome browser now you click on the speaker icon at the bottom right to read out loud your text for proofreading which you can find here just at the top of audio recording here and close to the document site here okay and it says also here that for punctuation you can use any of the three methods number one is dictation of the punctuation marks key typing the marks using your keyboard which is usually the the fastest as it appends the mark to the speech even before it is finalized the third one is by clicking the mark on the screen so let's test it now I'm going to show you how this application works best without having to type using your keyboard now for example you've dictated two sentences and you want to go to the next line or paragraph all you need to say is new paragraph now I want you to try the proofreading feature by clicking on the speaker icon here at the bottom right to read out loud your text for proofreading and I want you to test it also hi nice to meet you use me to proofread your writing so go ahead write some text other useful features of the speech notes are seen on the left side which can help you either auto save create a new session or new document erase create a new email upload print and other amazing features of zooming in and zooming out now i wanted to try speech notes at this time i'm gonna click on the microphone here and go hi period how are you question mark i am doing well and if you wanted to pause or stop all you have to do is to click on the microphone again and last but not least let's go to my third recommended free speech to text tool that you can easily and readily use and it's called microsoft's free voice to text service or windows speech recognition first thing you do is to go to your control panel and i'm going to search on that here then go to the search tab here and type in speech recognition and it's gonna appear right there but first and foremost you may want to maximize the quality of your end product by setting up your microphone either it's built in or you have another microphone connected to your PC or laptop and to set up a microphone you just have to click on the set up a microphone here since I have a microphone set up or connected to my PC I'd like to click on the other and then click on next and then next then this window will appear where you can test if your microphone is properly working you can actually adjust the volume here now for you to know if it's working well you can follow the instructions here that says read the following sentences aloud in a natural speaking voice and you may notice that as i speak a green color appears underneath that colored segment which only suggests that my microphone is working just fine so it means i can click on next and it says my microphone is ready then when this icon appeared it means that your microphone is set up and we're almost close to starting your speech recognition but one more step is needed to do it by pulling out a blank word document now hit that microphone icon to activate and then you can start speaking to translate your voice into text so let me try how are you i'm great you just need to click on the microphone icon here if you want to stop I know there's a lot more of this kind available online which are also free but I haven't really explored them yet 
And the reason why I recommended these tools is because I have used them in the past, especially for some of my simple transcription needs, which are very easy and straightforward to use. But I have to remind you that these tools are not the main applications or software used by professional transcriptionists because it's a totally different set of discussion. You may want to visit my videos available in this channel where I have discussed ideas and facts about transcription and how to get involved in the said career. So again, I invite you to please subscribe, like, and share this video so you will be notified of the information I'm going to be sharing in the near future. And I'll see you again next time. Godspeed!